Kathy's Cute Creations. Today I am going to bring you um, AccuQuilt Go video because I ordered the mask die and it came in so I want to show it to you for all of those that are considering it to make masks or already have it but haven't opened it up yet. So let's get started and take so a look So when it came it. packaged, it was just like this wrapped up in a package. So it has the instructions, your tips and instructions also told you a little bit about some other dies that might be important if you're interested. But it shows the cotton with the fusible. I can't get it to focus at all. But it tells you you can use six fabrics with cotton, six with batik. If you're going to use fleece, you can use two at the max. Uh, this is layers now. Two for flannel, one for denim, one for leather, two for wool, two for batting, two for felt, and then you can use six layers for silk. And then these are the most used because, let's see, this is a 10 by 24, 6 by 24, 6 by 12, 6 by 6, 5 by 10, 10 by 10, and a 14 by 16 because you use those for blocks and such. And then it has your fabric tips, your dye tips, and then it gives you an idea of the dye itself. It tells you what all's in it because it has these pieces right here which I'll show you here in a minute. All of those are on it. And then it tells you what each one of them are and then how to sew it in case you don't know how to do that. Okay, and this is just a blank piece of paper to cover the blades. And this is what it looks like. This is the face, the cheek, the mouth, and here's the strips if you're gonna use strips. I don't use strips, I use elastic and I also use the little, um, goody ponytail things that go behind your ears so let me show you i've already done an example and cut out a bunch of them it doesn't take any time at all but i'm gonna give i'm have some fabric that i want to make into masks and i'm going to show you how i do it and i've done it two different ways one way is that i just took my fabric and i took it from here to here and laid it down catty corner a little bit and then the other way i'm not going to use every piece of the mask the same exact color so what I normally do is I'll take the mouth and the face and I'll make it one type of fabric. And then for the cheeks, I make it for a different type of fabric. The reason being that if I make the face, like let's say six or seven of these, but they're going to go to the same family, then I want to have the cheeks different so they can see who belongs to who. Or I can make the mouth different. The outside will all be the same. It's the insides that will be different. This way, a bunch of people in the same family can have the same mask and they can tell them apart. So let me get my fabric over here. I'm ironing it right now. And then I'm going to show you how I so cut. The first thing I'm going to do is I have a ruler that's eight and a half squared. I will put it on top of the fabric here and I give it a quarter of an inch overhang. So what I did was I'm a quarter inch above the mask, a quarter inch to the right of the fabric here. And if I turn it sideways, and this is my one, and I go across, the quarter is seven. So if I take a seven inch by seven, a seven by eight, and actually I would probably do eight and a quarter, and then I put it on like this, sideways, not straight like this now, but sideways because of the way the mouth is here i mean the face is then it will fit and cover just this mask piece so let me get my fabric so I cut out my fabric this is the sizes that i cut out so an eight by seven and a quarter for the face a seven by four and a fourth by the for the mouth five and a half by five and three eighths for the cheek and as you can see they all fit on here just fine they're all covering the dye then you take your mat because it has to have a mat and you put over the top. And then we're going to put it in the machine. Let's turn it on here. see it. I'm going to slide it 
slide it off. I'll try to anyway. Okay. And what you want to do when you lay down your fabric, you want to put either the right sides together like this or the wrong sides together so that you've got it when you make it because it's going to go like this and you got to have the two correct sides okay because when you put these together they don't actually fit they're just a little they're off just a little bit so always make sure you're putting them it correctly so you don't end up with two of the same thing so i made two of these blue ones and a black i just grabbed that out of my scrap because I was running out. And then I need to clip a little bit. Because every now and then we have a thread on there. So I have two for the top. Because I made two tops. Let's clip here. So what I've got here is three mouths, three cheeks, and I made exactly two tops because my one strip of fabric that I cut out made these two and these two. And there wasn't enough to make any more. So let me go over here. And I will whip one up real quick to show you what it looks like. Okay, there you go. There's the mask. It's not too tight. Didn't take that long to work up. And then I went ahead on the inside. And there has a little blue. It's got the wire in it. So you can wrap it around your nose. Well, I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Thanks for watching.